How's it going everybody? Drinkass here and welcome back to some more Turmoil. So it's been a while, but I am really excited to try this game out again and see what they have done since we've last played. So if you don't know what Turmoil is, basically you are drilling for oil like it's the late 1800s. It's a blast from the past. It's a very fun little strategy game that uh, you guys seem to really like the first time I played it. So we're gonna try it again here and see how we can do with another season of drilling some oil. So let's get right into it and have some fun with a new campaign. Oh, we can do single game as well. I think I am gonna do a new campaign. I don't know if I'll actually finish it to be totally honest, guys. It depends on if you guys like it or not. You guys really did like it before, but I don't really know how you guys are gonna think about it right now. But we'll get through at least a couple episodes, and if you guys are liking it, of course, we will stick around for the full season. So last time we were Ricardo. I feel like, you know what, I'm thinking Daisy was the one that was usually my biggest competitor, so I'm gonna play her this time. Delighted to meet your acquaintance, I made a nice living in real estate, but it's time for a new business plan, I'm going underground. I don't like to dilly-dally, so let's get to work. Alright, I like the sound of that, let's do it, Daisy. Hi there, future oil baron. Welcome to my soon-to-be lovely town. The oil industry will be booming here, so let's get to work. Click on the wagon and I'll show you the basics of oil drilling. So I don't know... Uh, I believe this is a tutorial. I think we'll quickly go through it here and then we'll get into the actual gameplay. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna skip the tutorial because I do know how to play. I did do a full game of this, so I think I'm pretty damn good at it by now. Okay, and here we are in our booming town. Now, if you haven't followed the uh, last time we played this, basically your town expands and the game expands with it, so you can do more things. Right now, it's basically just the generic drilling of oil, uh, and we're also going to bid for land, I believe. I was expecting you, what can I do for you? I want to, uh, yeah, open the world map here. And uh, yeah, this one's looking actually a little different. I think they graphically updated it at least. And welcome everyone, let's first introduce ourselves. Yes, we already know about Daisy, so we're gonna close that. Howdy, partner! This dude's been herding cattle for long enough to know what? The nights on the prairie can be cold and lonely. I hope earning money with oil is as easy as throwing lassos. I hope so too, buddy. Buenos dias! I have sailed the world as a ship captain for years and I can't even swim. Well, that's good to know. I don't want to worry about drowning anymore unless it's in money. Yes, that would be the best way to die, drowning in your own money. Hello there, does being a lawyer sound interesting? Well, in the truth, it's kind of boring and I couldn't handle it. I've got a serious case of oil fever and the only cure is finding oil. Okay, so here is our competitors. Well, of course, it's except for Daisy because we're Daisy. And I guess the mayor's gonna sign us our own piece of land. The first one is on the house. Oh no, so we're actually gonna bid for the first one here. So it looks like everyone's gonna bid around, oh. I guess he does assign our spots of land. I wanted to bid for a certain spot of land, but I guess I don't have a choice. So here we go. I guess we're gonna start now. Good day. To celebrate opening of my brand new bank, I've opened up a new account for each of you. You can visit me to view a financial report of your last venture. Okay, so we got McMoney's has been unlocked and there is something else in development which we'll probably find at the end of this season. So let's start digging here. We all got $20,000, it costs $2,000 for startup costs, so let's get into it and hopefully we earn more than $2,000. Okay, so here is our land, we're gonna get some of the stick bastards here and uh, hopefully they'll find some oil. I'm trying to remember all the hotkeys here, so rig is R, dowser is D, uh, silos S, and wagon is W, that should be easy enough to remember. Okay, a little stick bastard found something over here. Unfortunately, we don't have any moles or anything to find what's in the ground, so I am just gonna take a sneak peek with a little bit of piping here and see if we can actually find that oil. Uh, we got another guy finding something over here, so if I don't find anything soon over here, I might just move over to him. Oh, nope, there we go. We have hit oil, and it looks like it's quite a big vein of it as well, so that's gonna be great. Let's hire some wagons to transport that oil, and we only currently have left ink, so that's great. Left ink's buying for $1.17 right now, which is quite a bit if I remember correctly. So let's get two wagons transferring some oil for us. And we currently have about $800 in our bank, so that gives us enough to open up another rig here. Why don't we do that? Because both of these guys have found oil somewhere in here, so hopefully I can find some of it. Okay, still haven't found anything. I'm gonna go over here and, oh, branch limit. Oh, I can only have one branch with this guy? Well, we did find the oil. That was a perfect pipe right there. And left things buying for 80 cents right now. It's dropping quite a bit. I think I'm gonna stop selling at about 70 cents this season. Uh, we do have a lot of oil though, so I do wanna sell most of it. Uh, maybe actually, let's buy one or two more wagons here just to deal with this added oil. You can see it's starting to go up in my actual rigs. 
Okay, and I just realized that was quite stupid because I don't actually have enough money to buy a silo. So I'm going to keep selling for 66 cents as much as I don't want to because uh, I'd rather not get a loan right now. Oh shit, it's already the last month, that's right, the early seasons only last six months, so you can't even get to really off the ground at the start. Well, if it's the last month, we have a lot of fucking oil, let's actually start uh, recruiting some more people and trying to sell. And I forgot, I only had one guy selling at a time, uh, no, I want all five selling. I don't think this is gonna go well at all, I f totally forgot about the six months uh, for the starting season, so <laughs> currently we're at $700, I'm just gonna keep selling, I don't care about the price, because I don't have enough time to drill all this oil out of the ground anyways. Thankfully the price is going up even though I'm selling like crazy now, you know what, let's get one more, maybe I shouldn't have got that because it's so late in the season, uh, I did waste $150 doing it, but hopefully he can do a few wagons worth and uh, pay for himself. Oh shit, I'm not even gonna profit, am I? Uh, yeah, look at the size of these oil nodes, though. Holy shit! Okay, we got really close to profiting, though. Oh, well, it says we have a profit of 1,800. Oh, I guess I did earn technically 4,336, so I did get a profit of 1,800. In $16? I thought I had to actually earn $2,000 beforehand, but I guess it accounts for that earlier on. Uh, so yeah, we, we got some graphs you can see, uh, slowly losing money and then earning money. They did make quite a few graphical improvements in this game since we did last play, which is really nice. Uh, 3,269 barrels sold, holy shit! And we earned a price of 71 cents per barrel. Sp uh, my spendings, you can see pipes, wagons, dowsers, and rigs. So I spent a lot on wagons, but as you really need to. And then you get an ending screenshot now of what you hit in the ground. That's actually really cool. I'm loving uh, the new design of this game. And actually, we were the reigning champion that month as well. You can see we earned 1816 uh, as compared to 404 for Josh. Uh, poor Ricardo in the red, and then Blanche. I hope I said her name right, $91, almost breaking even. And we also got Fred Metal. Are you looking for, to make your oil mining operation more efficient? Come to my factory to upgrade your gear. All right, let's actually go look and see what he's got right now. You can do upgrade the width, the size of your tanks. Uh, you can add branches, which I probably am going to do right now. I feel like that's the uh, most convenient one. And timer too, I actually forget what this is. Rigs are now better resistance against high pressures, so they are less likely to spill. That would be a very good buy as well, but I actually currently don't have $20,000. So we're going to modify the joints so we can actually attach multiple joints to one joint. Okay, but that should be it for going to the town right now. Let's go to the town hall and start doing the actual land auctions, which is what I was talking about before. So now we can actually bid on where we want to go. These numbers are meaning how much oil was in the ground. So the higher the number, the better the yield, and generally the numbers are similar around plots close to them. So for example, 42, this plot probably over here is quite good, and this one, 28, uh, this plot up here might not be so good. So I'm going to bid for this one right now. Guaranteed there's going to be some other bidders. So, oh, they didn't used to do that before. They actually used to always bid right beside the numbers, so it's interesting that they're actually going around the land right now. Uh, I think I got a pretty good spot here. I have no idea, though, so let's go out and see if we can find some oil. All right, $2,000 down the drain, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's get some oil, and who the fuck is this guy? Oh, this is, um, from now on, levels will run from January 1st to June 30th. Okay, so we get a little bit more time, that's good, and we also got right ink now uh, to compete with left ink for oil prices. So let's get, I think we'll get two dowsers for right now, uh, because these oil nodes seem to be bigger now. I don't know if they changed the game, or I just got really lucky last time. Generally, there's a lot more nodes, and they're a lot smaller. Okay, and they're both actually have struck oil. We're gonna go for this one right here for right now Just because what's going on here? You can now connect three pipes to each joint. Thank you very much to know that I thought I only upgraded the two though All right, and just looking for some oil here. It would be great if I had some moles There we go. We hit oil and it looks like it is a very big node once again I am finding all the good nodes. This is absolutely fantastic left ink's buying for 92 cents So let's go start selling to left ink right ink is going up though So we might want to sell to them as well uh, We currently have $871 so I may as well do another rig as well and see if I can find this other oil Okay, and right ink did go over left ink So let's actually start selling to them which is perfect because my drill is actually over by them as well So it's gonna be a quicker trip to uh, sell some of this oil. Oh, there's the node right beside it So I did make it a little too large and it actually went Oh, it didn't go below it. I thought it did go below it, but you can see the oil did connect, so that's good. We'll get a few more wagons here to deal with the added yield, and hopefully we can make quite a bit of money. 
All right, we got two more stick fuckers looking around for some more oil because we know there's more oil on the ground than just this. But this note over here looks absolutely huge, which is uh, really intriguing me. Right ink still going up, or at least stagnant at $1.31. That's a really good price. And we got another oil fine right here, so we're gonna just build a pipe. I didn't mean to do it so short, it actually lagged out a little bit. But we're just gonna build a pipe somewhere over here, and hopefully we can find it relatively shortly. Okay, and the other stick bastard found something over there as well. There we go, we did hit that oil. Looks like a very small node, but you can never really tell without the moles, unfortunately. And I can see the other node as well. It is right here. It looks like another relatively small one. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell. That might be, hell, this might be one big node all, all the way across. You don't, you can't really tell. But right ink is dropping down quite hard right now, so let's actually build a silo. I'm going to build it by left ink because left ink hasn't went up yet, and I'm going to assume that's going to be the next one going up. So we're going to drop this all the way down, and we will start storing our oil over here. And our rigs are actually filling up with quite a bit of oil, so we're going to buy two more wagons. I don't want to go overboard on the wagons. That's what I really did wrong the first run through, I think, is I, I bought too many wagons every time. I want to, you know, be more efficient this time if I can. It's March, April, May, June, so we still got a few months to find oil, so I'm actually going to hire another dowser. Actually, let's hire... fuck it. Well, we'll hire three to make sure we find all the oil in this ground. Uh, that, that, that's always been my goal, to find every node in the ground. It's not easy to do, but usually I can do it. Okay, I'm a little worried about oil prices, though. My silo is actually basically full right now. You can see prices are not looking too good. Left ink is slowly going up, but it needs to be going up a lot faster for me to be selling this stuff. And I currently only have $235 in terms of finances, so actually, how much is a loan? I can borrow $500 if I need to, uh, with an interest of 10% per month. I don't really want to do that, though. Okay, left ink, I'm gonna start selling at 80 cents just because I need the space. Yes, let's go. We're gonna sell all six wagons are gonna start selling, so... Actually, maybe I should wait for a quick second here, just because I'm not really having oil problems and left ink's still gonna go up. I'm a little worried though, these dowsers are actually not finding anything else. They haven't whistled at me for a while now. Alright, left thing's at a dollar now. Let's actually start selling all of it. Uh, put all six wagons over there. Hopefully we can get some actual money in our bank now. Alright, over $2,000 already. It's crazy how much you can earn really quickly in this game. And I gotta watch right ink as well. It's going up pretty quick, but left ink still going up. $1.31 right now. Uh, I might even want to buy a few more wagons just to deal with this price increase, and I want to sell as much of it as I can. And yes, my dowsers, well, all but one has left this screen, so that means there's no more oil on the ground. I think we've hit every node, so we got some pretty barren ground right here. Alright, left ink still $1.33. It's actually just dropped to $31. Uh, so yes, we're going to slowly stop selling, because if you can see right ink over there... $1.21 right now. I think it's going to go, might go a little bit higher, and I do want to sell for as much as I can. So I'd rather store this. Ah, uh, fuck. I think it has peaked at $1.21, so I think I lost a few cents there. Oh, it's dropping. All right, you know what? We're going to have to sell uh, to right in here because it's dropping really slowly. Uh, I did miss a few bucks there. That's unfortunate. All right, but it's the last month. I don't know if I'm going to get all the oil out of the ground. This node is dry. I don't know how big these nodes are, though. And I don't know, can I actually attach two pipes to, uh, the branch limit has been reached, unfortunately, for that. And I don't think, yes, I can actually build off of that. I don't think it's gonna be worth it, though. I don't know how much oil's on the ground, so we're just gonna keep selling all the way through the month. And hopefully, we can, well, we already have profited quite a bit. $7,000 isn't too bad at all. All right, and there we go. Holy shit! All right, so I guess there was nodes in the ground. Oh, that's right, you need to upgrade the dowsers to see further into the ground. I totally forgot about that. So, for whatever reason, my turmoil crashed, but that's alright. I actually just played through the season once again because it didn't save, and we're actually doing a little better this time. As you can see, we're at 10000 almost $11,000. Uh, we're on the last month, June 10th right now, so we got 20 more days to hopefully sell a bit more here. I uh, didn't actually find much in the ground, I just found things early on, so I was able to sell right away, and the prices have always been basically over a dollar. You can see writing's dropping like it's hard right now, and left things slowly going up, and that's how it's been the whole season. So that's how you really want it to be, because then you can just constantly sell, which is what I've been doing. Left ink, not selling for a... 
or sorry, not buying for a lot right now, but it's, I mean, it's the end of the month, the season anyway, so I don't got a choice but to sell. And this Dowser did find something else, but obviously it's a little too late to try and get that as well, so we're just gonna end it off and see how much money we can earn. All right, let's see what we missed here. We did actually get, you can see these nodes that I found were quite large, and we did, well, get quite a bit out of them. Unfortunately, my rigs are not strong enough yet to really start pulling the oil out of the ground. But yes, we spent $4,000, earned $17,000 for a profit of $13,000. Not too bad at all. You can see my graph was basically just profit the whole time. I had a very small waiting period to start earning some money here. Left ink, 8,000 barrels I sold to, and right ink, 7,000 barrels. So you can see they've basically been on par the whole season, so I was always selling to at least left or right. And my spending wasn't too bad at all. I spent a lot on pipes, and I probably bought one too many rigs. I actually bought three that time, and you can see over here, I tried to attach multiple rigs to one thing, and it didn't really help too much because I wasn't able to get the whole node out of the ground anyways. But yeah, another successful season. Let's see how everyone else did as well. I am just kicking ass once again, and that was the biggest issue with Turmoil at the starting as well, my, my last time I played it is I always won. I w it was never actually really that competitive, so I hope these guys can pick it up later on and I can actually have some competition. And we also unlocked Mr. Edward over here. He's a bit of a handyman and he would like to experiment with stuff that can help us find oil. Make sure you check out my inventions. All right, so we'll go in there and see what he's got as well. Uh, you, you increase your depth, I believe. Uh, yeah, improved dowsing rods. So that was what I was talking about when my dowsers were not going deep enough. We also got the speed, the moles, which are really convenient, and of course the scanner, which makes this game so much easier. Uh, $30,000, though we don't unfortunately have enough to afford that. But we got $16,000 to our name, so I think we're going to buy the moly moles for the next episode of Turmoil. And yes, we're going to end this one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Turmoil. And let me know in the comments below if you do want to see more of this. Obviously, I want your input on if you guys are liking this or not. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you guys in the next one.